This is the Polestar 2 with Android Automotive at Google I.O. 2019. Now let's go to the demo, first with Google Maps. Now let's start by looking at uh, Google Maps. Okay Google, how far is Monterey? If you drive, Monterey is 83.7 miles away. Okay Google, take me there. Okay, Monterey, here we go. Now Maps will find the best route for you, factoring in traffic information and all of that along with uh, arrival time. Now this is an electric vehicle and Google Maps is aware of that. So it actually also computes an estimated battery on arrival. So you can decide whether you have enough charge for the trip. Now let's say that you wanted to add a charging stop. Okay, Google, charging stations. So Maps will show you a list that's along the route. So you can pick the one that's optimal. It also shows you the ones that are only compatible with this car. So charge charging ports and with real time availability. So you know two out of two are available there. So you can go and make a stop. And yeah, maps will re reroute. So now let's take a look at this display. This is a driver display. That's a 12.3 inch screen. Now in this particular mode called maps mode, it basically mirrors Google Maps guidance. So even if somebody's fiddling around with it from the passenger side, the driver display will stay focused on the current route. Um, it also has a couple of different modes. Let me take a picture. The next one is a calm mode, which is a simplified information mode. So you have only the key things that a driver sees. And then here is a car centric mode, which has more car sensor information that's shown here. Go back to maps mode. Let's exit out of maps and uh, talk about some of the media apps. Let's start with Spotify. So Spotify is, this is designed natively for Android Automotive. So you see bigger icons and bolder buttons, but you also have the look and feel of Spotify. So if you're a Spotify user, you will recognize some of this. But let's, let's see if we can let's play something. Okay, Google, play You Lit My Fire. Sure, You Lit My Fire by Anne Brunn, playing on Spotify. So if you have a particular song in mind, it's easy to just ask assistant and you can also pick something from the UI as well. And if I showed this screen, so it has now playing screen with bigger icons, so you can as a driver quickly interact with it, pause music and whatnot. Now let's say you want to make a phone call while you're on the road, and how would you do that? Okay Google, call Brittany. Calling Brittany Coleman, home. So yeah, you can keep focusing on the road and you ask assistant to make phone calls. Now let's see if you wanna if you're getting a text while you're on the road while you're driving and you don't want to interact with the screen. Okay Google. Read my messages. You've got a new message from Amanda Peter on Messenger. It says, Hope you're enjoying IO. Do you want to reply? And then lastly, I wanted to touch upon the vehicle app. This is the vehicle settings app. So any details about the current charge level or different functions you want to enable, this is the settings, the app that's designed by the Polestar team. So, want to take a picture? Sure. Okay. Yeah, and then the climate is also controllable through the assistant. So mm -hmm. the software is integrated with the components, some components of the car. So you can uh, adjust that as well. So that's the end of our demo. Great, thank you. Wow, that was a great demo. The Polestar 2 is an all-electric vehicle that is scheduled to be released in 2020. So I guess that'll be it for the video guys. Thanks for watching everyone and be sure to check out the links down in the description for more info on the Polestar 2. And also please like and subscribe. It really helps on the channel. Thanks for watching everyone.